So, you're looking at crappy quality video because I have had to disable my graphics adapter in order for this thing to not constantly buffer in Netflix. So, I'm showing you. I'm showing you the video running. Although it, the quality is crap, it at least runs. So that right there is a minute of uninterrupted video. We have found it. The greatest In fact, I'll leave it running while the coast of Norway, I go the Atlantic Road comprises five miles of spectacular curves sweeping between the device manager. And despite the fact that the building crew had to endure twelve hours, and let's see what happens when I enable when I enable it. Okay. I'll just enable it right there. Now. It's been voted Norway's construction of the century, and with its roller coaster swoops, it's the perfect place to test a car that should attack corners like a dog at a postman's ankle. Probably. Meet the Citroen DS3 Racing, a harder, sharper, faster Probably. version. I should kill that. Your hardware, so you must restart. For the restart now. Yes. Sorry about this. Doesn't take that long to restart this machine. Almost there. What's interesting about this is that I will get this video up and it will hit the buffer. It will start buffering within within the minute. I promise. It is that consistent. Even if I go into the settings and maximize the buffer, it doesn't matter. So here we are. just don't do justice to how surreal driving across this blind crested bridge really is. I'm definitely going to have to slow down because my brain's panicking a little bit. It's mind-blowing. Wow, that bridge is so gorgeous. Quite a lot of road noise coming off the DS3. 
S3. That exhaust is a tuned exhaust system. You can really hear it rasping out through the tailgate. So it's not the quietest experience, but then that fits the bill for it being a hot hatch. It feels excellent. Cornering's nice and flat. Doesn't feel twitchy. There it is. Okay, so maybe it was more than a minute, but you know what? This will happen every minute. And it will take probably three or four minutes to get out of this mode and continue playing. It is absolutely guaranteed related. I have proven it. I could easily repeat this test ten times. I've already repeated it numerous times to the point where I knew I could repeat it. For this video. So the Intel HD Graphics 3000 piece of crap in this computer and I've used the original drivers that it came with. I've used the latest drivers from Intel. I've used the latest drivers from Windows Update and all of them. Oh, I've used the latest drivers from Asus Download. And every single one of them has this exact same problem. So as usual with a Windows machine, I've wasted another evening of my life screwing around with settings that I shouldn't have to screw around with. And this will be absolutely the last Windows machine I ever pay for with my own money. I have to use them at work, okay, that's fine, but I'm never going to buy another one. You guys, you really, really suck. I didn't even bother telling you this machine that's a year old. If I happen to move around, oh, oh dear, oh dear, I've gone to battery mode because this stupid little, this stupid little thing, power connector, is mounted in such a stupid way and in such a stupid place that it's practically impossible to own the thing without eventually damaging it. Unlike a Mac, which will just magnetically hold itself there and just fall off or not be bent because it's flush with the side of the machine. Uh, these Windows machines are just garbage. Asus, you know, you have this great reputation. I'm sorry, you didn't live up to it. This machine, this N53SV, is a piece of trash, and I regret buying it. I really regret buying this machine. There's many other reasons why it sucks. I could go on and on about how badly this sucks, how often I have to clean it, how often I have to do things to maintain it. Meanwhile, I bought my wife... MacBook Pro right around the same time and it just works every time flawlessly. You guys are going to deserve your demise because you suck.